Here's Brody Brazil. Thoughts on David Quinn so far? Well, I had the opportunity to actually like meet him in person and talk to him in person today. And I think the biggest takeaway I've got, and by the way, you will see the full interview here on this YouTube channel at some point. Uh, when I can release it, I will. He's so polished. I said this to him during our conversation. He kind of chuckled. He'd be like, really, you know, I don't know if it was because he he never hears that often. He should. Or if it was that accurate, like he knew it was coming or weird for me to mention it. But he just comes across as so well put together. And sometimes, you know, a coach can give you the X's and O's. The coach can give you the information you need. But it doesn't hit. doesn't click. It doesn't sink in. I don't want to say it's not believable or you don't get the buy-in, but there's also some coaches I think out there who have less of the X's and O's, less less of the textbook stuff to give you or like the pre-scout to give you, but they sell it in such a way that you instantly buy in. And what I'm saying is, you know, David Quinn has been there, done that in college hockey, has been an NHL coach with the Rangers for three years. So, like we'll find out, you know, what his style is and what he can get out of this group. But I'm saying beyond all of that, what I can immediately see is his polish, his delivery, his smoothness, his thoughtfulness in his answers. Like he didn't also, um, he didn't hold back. I think it was the first game the Sharks played in Europe and they had, a you know, an okay first period, but then the game kind of slipped away in the second and third. And he said as much. First 25, thought we were competitive. After that, I think he used the words like, not intimidated, but, you know, we lost our edge, lost our way, we got caught up. Um, I think it's so easy for coaches sometimes to say as little as possible with as few words as possible and just, you know, satisfy the obligation of doing the interview. But then there are some other coaches who really, like if you watch the game and then you listen to what they say and and you put it all together, you're like, wow, that... That's not only accurate, but it's said so well that it really sinks in and it gives me something to chew on. And that is something I think David Quinn is really good at. And I'm not going to not gonna go Quinn versus Bugner versus DeBoer versus McClellan. Um, they're all different human beings, different individuals. I'm just saying that what I notice with David Quinn in comparison to other recent Sharks head coaches, and I'm talking about multiple, not just Bob, But he's just, there is a certain just like polish to the whole thing. And you would have to, you would have to think that if he handles his business this way with the media and in a press conference situation, then when it's time to go one-on-one with a player and get the most out of them, or when it's time to, you know, address a group of penalty killers or the power play or all your forwards or your entire team that you just have a really good way of connecting with them and reaching them. And there's also this too, we we talked about, and again, you'll see all this eventually, we talked about the difference of college hockey versus the NHL, which two levels entirely different that he's experienced. But he was saying that in college hockey, obviously, you know, when you're the head coach, you're part of recruiting, you're part of like crafting your team. In the NHL, it's a team that you walk into that's already been through something, right? They just change coaches for a reason. And you don't maybe necessarily have the complete like investment yet with everybody. Like you haven't really built a bridge before you start playing games. And that's, that's essentially that's what he's doing now. Cause I think my question there was, you know, your players wanted to make a good first impression for you. Is it reciprocal? Like when you come in as a coach, do you want to earn everybody's respect mutually and just the same? And so he kind of talked about the the whole thing of, you know, not necessarily knowing everybody yet, but at the same time, um, you know, being able to to earn that, earn that connection. 